And I know you don't like. I know you don't like custard. I understand yeah. that. And yeah. I know you don't like eggs, Phil. Uh, it's different forms of eggs. Fine. Okay. Here it is. So it's very, very. Look, there it is. Now the thing about this is, is um, that's blackcurrant sorbet on top. I was going to ask you that was. And it's just simple. Now look, I need to get a bit of a move on here. Okay. Pastry. Really important you get the right pastry, which is sweet, short pastry. Can you buy it and roll it? Of course you can. Good. I bought this. OK, good. <laughs> Life's too short. Did you do that when you won Pastry Chef of the Year? No, I didn't. <laughs> no, 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 I didn't. No, Just no, joking. No, no. question. No, you to, they didn't make it those days. <laughs> no, that's true. Virtually. Um, anyway, so here, you'll obviously, I'll sort of sh briefly show this. Now, the thing about pastry is, as soon as you get it onto the tin, you need to just move it straight into the into the tin itself like that. Yeah. All the time that's stretching. If it stretches too far... It gets too thin? Yeah, and it then Cracks. shrinks back. The whole point about this this flan or tart is it needs to be very, very deep. So you can get lots What's of... What's the difference between a flan and a tart? Um, yeah, a, a link with loose women. <laughs> 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 Wouldn't have been half so funny. <laughs> I mean, I, pretty much a tart used to be with two a pastry bottom and a pastry top. Whereas a flan is an open top. Oh, flan. so this is really a flan. It is, yes. But, but then my mother. Custom flan. This is my mum's basic idea, so I'm not going to argue with her. Okay, fine. So, rub, uh, uh, you roll off the top like that, and then this is the most important thing here. You need to then push that into the into the pastry, okay? Mm -hmm. Put it into the bottom of the tin. So you go in like this, and you'll see that it the pastry sits into the bottom there. Oh right. Nice. So you're really making it okay. thin, aren't you? Yeah, and then the, then you thumb up the top. It's really important you go above the lip, otherwise it, it may shrink back. Mm -hmm. But also, you need to get them as full as possible. Okay. okay. I hate seeing well, it's a, a, a centimetre gap. It's all, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I get very... Angry. You don't like that, do you? No, no, no. You'd be okay. marked down. You would have won Chef of the Year with that one. Anyway, into the oven. Bright bait. Oh, here's a very good point. Bake, baking parchment. Screw it up first. If you don't, when you put it in there, it pushes through the pastry. Mm. And you put in a, a lot of egg and cream into this, and it'll run out all over your stove. Oh. And I've done that on numerous occasions. Okay. So that's one of the reasons why you do that. Yeah. In it goes. Baking beans. Light bake for how long? For about 20 minutes. Okay. okay. But just at the outside. Now, the, the filling, here we go. In here, I have six egg yolks, mm -hmm. 85 grams of sugar. Mm. This is really important. This is. Uh, cornflour arrowroot. Mm -hmm. If you overcook it slightly, that will stop it splitting. That will hold it together. Oh, it's a fail-safe bit. Here I've got orange flour water, Ooh. which I just love the smell of it. It's very delicate. A isn't little it? bit, mm -hmm. just a tiny little bit into there. Probably a teaspoon, and you wouldn't even know that was in there. Okay, it just rounds off the lovely creaminess. Okay, and here I've got whipping cream. Not double cream, whipping cream, mm -hmm. which otherwise makes it too heavy. And that's just whipping cream, or have you got milk in there no, as well? Just, just whipping that. cream and two vanilla pods. Yep. I don't scrape the seeds, so that's no point, because by the time you've actually put it in and boiled it up and whisked it, all the seeds all will come out. Anyway. Now, you need to bring this up to around about just under boiling, and take, take it off and let it just set for just for about two or three minutes, otherwise it will cook the eggs, OK? OK. And then what you do is you pour a little bit of the hot cream onto the eggs. I'm watching this very carefully. My dad loves okay. custard tarts, so right. if I can perfect yes. this. Now, that brings up the temperature of the eggs, and you can put the rest in. Put it all in at the start. Mm. If you're not careful, it cooks the eggs straight away. And you'll see, even that's, that's thickening now with that little bit of starch that you've put into it. Mm -hmm. Now, into a sieve, like so. And that's all you need to do to get all that lovely vanilla flavour out? Yeah, yes, you, you'd leave it a bit longer, because obviously you'll need to leave the cream to just for five minutes. Of course you do, of yeah. course you do. OK. And that just kicks out. Then you can reuse, reuse these again two, three times, and we used to dry them out, and I'll show you that better. Oh, right. Now, here we go. So the egg mixture goes into a jug. And, this and is it really would be important. thicker than that normally? No, nope, this is exactly as it is. Oh. OK. It's, I've got a flan case here, which I'm just going to show you. This is the one we did a bit earlier. Now, what you do, Philip, is, yeah. and Holly, yeah. is you half fill this, or three quarters fill it, to there. Mm -hmm. You then 160 gas three. Oh, you then put you that in the layer oven. it up. Yes, because when that is full, there is no way you can walk across the kitchen with it. Oh, I see. see I thought you were going to cook it for a bit. No, first. no. So what you do oh, is you then oh. use a, something a bit similar, and that way you can fill it oh, right that's very good. up to the that's top. That's a very good tip. And you keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. A bit, bit more. Fill that. Just about fill that perfectly. Well, you really are going to go. Yes, and it, because it, because you whisk it a little bit, there will be a little bit of air in there. So that will actually, so, uh, like that. 160. How long for? 40 minutes, because you've heated the cream to start with. OK. All right. Now, when it comes out of the oven... Oh, wow. I mean, that looks amazing. Now, look at this one here. Now, what I've also done here... I'll move that away from... Sorry, that's, that's my fault. It's all right. I put a little bit of nutmeg on there, and I put mm. this here. This is... Um, uh, Pepper. No, no. <laughs> 
It's vanilla pods that are dried. Oh, how there. lovely! Yeah, and then you put a little bit on top. And the point you put so you them... could dry the ones out that you've used there, and then pop them in a little yes, uh, you little can. mill. Okay. Like mill. But also, um, you uh, I always put the um, uh, the nutmeg on afterwards, so it keeps its perfume. Okay. And what you mustn't do is overcook it when it's your, your wobble. Take it over, until overnight. And here it is. So we just cut that. I mean, it's impressive. Like that. I just hope I like it. There's that there, look at that. It's perfect. Now, I've also got down here a little bit of sorbet for you. It's a bit of fruits of the forest sorbet to go on top. And we stick the website for that yep. on the website. And you have a even. little bit of twice that. I'm going in. What? It's like a creme brulee, isn't it? It's actually just a, a hint it's just, of... It's, it's not as heavy, but it's just, yeah. it, it has that wobble factor. So it's wobbling. Oh, that is just It's actually stunning. really nice. It tastes way more vanilla -y than custody. Yes. Now, if, as I said to you before, Phil, you wouldn't know that was uh, 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 eggy, would you, mm. if I said you were... are all custard. shouting, you need to get to the break, you need to get to the break. No, <laughs> we're eating this. Delicious. <laughs> You'll have to wait. Thank you very much.